Right, let's continue where we left off. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we actually managed to recover from ghosts <laughs> back to human form. Uh, it cost us um, quite a significant portion of our gold uh, that we hardly uh, managed to acquire as a result of our previous adventures. And I sp spent the remainder of, uh, of the coins to heal up the Arcanist. So <clears throat> the status for our heroes is that each, both of the ladies have 11 health each and the Arcanist is at 10. They haven't used their um, uh, power points yet. <clears throat> we'll see about that. Maybe we'll come across a map that we'll have to play and this is, the, this is where we can spend. <clears throat> and this is where we can spend some of our um five points of course sorry for that <laughs> had, a, had a brain lag for the moment i also managed to acquire two bandages and i'll give one to the arc illusionist and one to the druidess all right so that's what we have all right so this episode will focus on hunting the infested as as our uh quest we need to hunt four and of course the rumor card says that we have to uh, roll d10 and on a roll of eight plus we encounter infested but i'll house rule it so i'll make sure that it's rather 40 to 60 chances of getting um, an encounter with infested rather than you know just wandering around and hoping for for the best <laughs> so here we are we actually uh, went to the physician so now we roll d10 and on eight plus we have a town event. Let's have a look. Ooh, rolled all the way up there and it's a nine. So we have the uh, town event, the very first one that we come across. So if we go out of, uh, which one is it? This is the thoroughfare event, security. Uh -huh. A Lord recognized us and asked for help escorting his family treasure safely through the town. Ooh, all characters must pass trickery six. Each character that succeeds gains 10 coins. Oh, look at that. Those who fail have fallen behind and must skirmish with a cutthroat. The counter said one plus the number of characters that failed. Only those who failed may skirmish. Oh, oh. okay. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Trickery, right? Trickery six. So let's start with the ladies first because they don't have any buffs for trickery, do they? Um, no and no. Mm -hmm. So let's roll red for Arcanist and white for Druidus. We need six. Um, uh, do, 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 and oh, and I forgot to mention that. Um, what I did back at town, you might remember that we picked up these two. Uh, so I decided that having two pyrites on on the illusionist was an overkill, and I gave one to <clears throat> to uh, our druidus. It doesn't really matter which one, but I decided to go for the druidus. So let's roll. Uh, red one for the arcanist, white one for for druidus. So <laughs> there you go. The druidus passed. The Arcanist failed, and now let's roll for our buddy here, Illusionist. Uh, it's four. We needed six. His trickery is one, so it's five. But I can also use his. Um, I can also use his. Uh, where is it? What did I do with it? With his. Uh, Oh, I lost it somewhere. <laughs> I'll find it in a minute. Never mind. Um, I'll use his pyrite, or shall I help the arcanist fight the um, the bandits? Yeah, I think I will. So I'll leave it like that because the druidus will step out. Uh, the druidus will step uh, out of the combat, uh, right? And we need to fight the, the bandits. Okay, let's find the bandits. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think it's better for two of our heroes fight the bandits. Where are they? Hang on. 
Hello. There you are. There you are. We have the bandits right here. So we will skirmish them. Um, and what did it say? A plus one. Oh, so it's plus two. Oh, maximum at eight. <laughs> oh my god. Ten, ten might plus five from the uh, season of the Jabba walk. Oh my god. Okay. So these two are fighting the highwayman at the highest level. Um, okay. Let's light them. We need some space for the dice. Okay. So this is the security. <clears throat> Ah, that was close. Each character that succeeds gains ten coins. Let's let's uh, let's do that first, because I'll forget. So our druidess managed to grab ten coins out of that. Right, and let's see what these guys can do. <coughs> they will get four each <coughs> if we defeat them. So uh, we have nice. Have I ever showed you these nice uh, sturdy dice? Skull dice, okay? <laughs> this will be, of course, for the enemy. Uh, black for the illusionist and white for the arcanist. So let's roll all of them together and see what happens. Ooh, we have, oh no, 62 plus 10, so it's 72, four. Oh, it's the, uh, it's, it's the wrong dice, it's this one. For damage. I thought it was D6, it's D1. Anyways, it's four plus one is five. Oof. Look at that. 90 and five. <laughs> so first of all, if the total attack roll for the highwayman is 85 plus, they cause plus two damage. No, it's 72. So they do not. They deal five damage though. Oof. To all of us, five damage down to six and down to yeah, five. Whoo, okay, so we reduce um, his power by one as a result of us hitting them. So, next round, okay, I will do it simultaneously so it's a little bit faster. Um, we have one, so it's a fail. Haha, <laughs> this was one, one and two zeros, right? 24, 32 might be, might not be enough. We'll, we'll see about that. So it was a one, so it was a critical fail. And if they fail during a skirmish, if I recall correctly, they lose, oops, they lose one level of power, don't they? Skirmishes, there we are. Uh, devastating faults, right? Devastating fault. Like in an encounter, the weapon you no uh, reduce the skirmish power by one, so they inflicted damage to themselves. Right? These buffs do not count as a result of the critical failure. Okay, so that was good. Now. What did we roll? 24 and it was 32, this one. This one I rolled uh, accidentally. So that's 37 as a result of Season of the Jabberwock. And what is it that she has um, on top of it? Let's have a look. She has plus seven, so 39, 44. She actually manages to hit him. Good. So it's only plus five might for him right now. So, okay, we managed to avoid that. Um, I will use the bandages on Illusionist. So he's up to 10 again. Unfortunately, uh, Arcanist hasn't got any, any, any way to heal herself. No, and all the other... Mm, and all the other, yeah, and all the other uh, abilities, they can be used in encounters or do not apply right now. Maybe later on. Let's have a look. Okay, next round. Let's attack. 71. This will be a hit. 99. <laughs> Two hits. But before we go there, 
let's have a look this is what is it 30 35 plus what well, plus 5 and 5 that's 45 so unfortunately everybody gets hit if the total no so for 3 damage right we managed to hit him hit them for 2 damage so he attacks us for 3 as well uh huh down to 3 ooh it's getting dangerous dangerous down to 7 okay but we reduce his power by two all right all right we need two more damage come on okay this is 80 unfortunately six one that's 90 it was 97 and this was 36 plus 5 41 and his might is seven so yeah he He's down to, he will be down to one. But before that, he does one damage. Oh, the Arcanist is down to two. And the Illusion is down to six. And we need one more damage. Oh, come on. Can we pull it off? Can we pull this off? Let's have a look. Oh, oh it's zero, so six. He failed. She failed. But look at that, 82. The highwayman is dead. Whew, that was close. <laughs> I think we have to go back and heal ourselves uh, immediately. Okay, so four and four. Right. Now we get to we get to draw from the table again. So let's roll for. Boom! It's ten. So it's critical. We need a uh, demonic mortal. Mortal ten. Choose. What do we want? Uh, I think because we're so wounded, I think I'll go for an item because there's a chance that it'll be an expensive one which I can sell and then spend the money for healing. That would be ideal. So weapons. Yeah, let's go for weapons, maybe. Let's have a look. So this is my deck of weapons and armors. Uh, do I have armors in here? Just weapons. No, armors as well. Okay, never mind. We'll be pulling uh, as long as we uh, pick an item. But I will use Arcanist's ability for one power point. Um, allows me to draw two items and then choose one and discard the other. Okay, so I'll pull this one. And this one to see what what this is okay so we have oh look at that protective we discard this so we pull another one until another armor because I'm, I'm pulling from the weapons there, there's a weapon so we have two weapons Mag magus and scientist only mm, 15 coins oh look at that digger Plus one ecology, plus one to search rolls and range two. A fantastic weapon for for our uh, druidus. Yeah, it's also worth four, 40 coins. So I'll pick that. Yeah, for the druidus, even though she didn't fight with us, but we will sell <clears throat> in just a moment. I'll put that in in my backpack. Yeah, and I'll sell. Um, the sickle right for 10 coins so uh yeah i collected the loot we uh got the the money out of that does anything else happen at the end of this um security event nope that's that yeah that's that that's resolved now mm -hmm. right Phew. how much money do we have we have Oh, I think we, we will go back to the <laughs> physician to heal ourselves. Four and four, this will be six. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I'm going back to the physician. Highwayman uh, event is resolved. Oh, I could have picked some could have picked some uh, painted miniatures. I'll do it next time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going back to the phys physician and we will spend four gold each. 
to heal um, some wounds. And then I will spend the last bandages on the Arcanist. So she's up to 11 again. <coughs> and our buddy Illusionist is at 10. Okay, so we're going out of the physician. Now it's seven plus is a six. That would have been yet another yet another uh, town event, but it's not. Right, before we leave town though, I will <coughs> use the illusionist's heirloom, which is the lucky coin plus trickery eight. I forgot to do it last time. Trickery eight, so his trickery is one. He doesn't have any other buffs. So I would like him to be lucky. <laughs> and I'll spend use to remove, uh, to reroll failed. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll use my pyrite because I really, 10, there you go. I really wanted him to have the um, lucky condition. I'll tell you why. Because lucky, um, it seems that luck favors the foolish and those who risk much to achieve their goals. Gain plus one trickery and plus one search until we lose it. So this is really nice. Okay, so this uh, stays with him because this is his heirloom. So we do not discard that. Let me adjust his uh, board with these buffs. So his trickery now is at two. Yeah, good. And what was the other one? The other one was search. Search plus one, okay. Plus one search, plus one search. Good. Right, where's Ali there? Uh, Ali there last time was our illusionist, so now the arcanist will lead the way. Um. Oh, since we were at, I still had 10, Mm, sorry for that, guys. I forgot that I had 10 coins um, with uh, um, the Arcanist. So we will buy two, yeah, two bandages. One for the Arcanist and one for the Illusionist again. And we spent all our coins yet again. <laughs> Yeah, so we're broke. We need to we need to earn some money. Right, it's daytime. We're traveling on the road this time um, with her stride, and and her stride um, is four. So one, two, three, four. We go down here, and we will resolve a road event at at day. So Dolly, okay, Dolly. Near a cluster of hovels on the muddy river, several grubby children huddled around a strange doll. Their eyes stirred vacantly into nothing. Uh -oh. One character must pass occult six. Ooh, occult. Who's good at, at occult? Uh, everybody is, apart from Druidus, but... Ooh, look at that. Our... Um, Arcanist, she has a cold at two, so she only needs to roll four or higher. Come on, four or higher. Nine, good, so we passed. What happens if we pass? Success, their eyes clear and the children run off laughing. Gain 15 lore. Right, it doesn't say one character. I think we all get 15 lore, don't we? Yeah. This is the very first time we got any lore at all, which I think the lowest is 100 for, for first level at the crossroads. Let's have a look. For example, the Arcanist, what is the requirement for the first one? Yeah, 100 is level one. So yeah, we're on our way, no, aren't we, eh? <laughs> right, so road event, bottom of the pile. Like so, <clears throat> we flip to knight side and we pass the token to Adridas. Adridas is stride is five, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Let's cross the bridge and then we will do some uh, infested hunting. One, two, three, four, five. We're on the bridge. Let's see what happens on the bridge at night. 
dinner. Ooh, <laughs> an interesting place to have dinner. Huh? But let's have a look. Yeah, the flicker of the fire showed a woman with a jagged scar roasting wild rabbit. Here to take my food, are you? She hissed as we approached. The leader must pass speech seven. I can gain 15 lore or skirmish with a wretched hag. <laughs> Druid, this is our leader. Uh, her speech is terrible, I suppose, isn't it? Where is she? Yeah, no bonuses. Speech seven. Ooh, let's see. Let us see. Mm hmm. Ooh. No, no bonuses to speech. Nothing. Oh no. Okay. All right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's one, so we failed. Wretched hug it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doesn't sound nice. We popped in for for dinner. Wretched hug. Oh, there she is. Oh, she looks nasty. Wow. Wow. Appropriate for who she is. Oh my word. Okay. So we have a we have a date with Wretched Hug. And I have a feeling we have her miniature painted. Yes we do. Um, that's where she is. Wretched hug. Okay, nice call right there on the base. A torch. She dropped the torch, but now she's rushing towards us with her bloodied dagger and a staff. Well, nice attire for a date, isn't it? <laughs> All right, okay. So what is it that she does? Lose d4 vita and become sick and five. Ooh. If the total attack roll of the hag is 85 plus, also gain an infection token. <laughs> We're fighting uh, a dusk difficulty, so plus zero might. Her defense is 45, coins seven. Right, so let's determine her uh, power. Come on. Oh, five. <laughs> That's really high. Plus one damage. Two, 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 two. Okay, now. What do we do? Do we defend? Do we... Um, let's think. She's at... Uh, <sighs> hmm. Who's the lowest on health? I think it was... Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll defend with Illusionist. I'll defend... Hmm. I'll defend, or maybe we should focus on attacking. Okay, who's got the highest might? Seven, seven and five. So our druidess should defend. Oh, let's risk it like this and like that. So we have two attackers and one defender, okay? Let's hope she misses, because I don't want to be sickened or anything like that. So she rolled 40, 41. 46 with with this and this and this is a two. Oh, 40 so she hits us plus one so three damage goes through and becomes sick and five ah so first of all first of all we have 46 now uh does she defend uh, plus 10 defense uh where is she 39 yes she manages to defend it because mm, um, she's wearing the chain vest plus her uh, 10, so that's 15. Her innate uh, and defense is 39, so she's way above that. So she she's she's okay. Okay. Now, <clears throat> second, I think second uh, could be offset with um, ecology. Is it? Second, yeah, ecology bonus. We don't have ecology bonus on neither the. Uh, yeah, we. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, no. So we need to roll. So black for illusionist, red for arcanist. Ten, so he passed. And nine, she also manages to avoid being second, but they lose three, three HP each, right? And I will spend. 
uh, I will exhaust this, so this will unexhaust as soon as we finish this encounter. Heal one Vita to one target. Uh, this is the Arcan uh, the Druid, this is uh, Erlum. Oh, so let's uh, 10, 3, 2. So he's down to 8 as a result of that attack. And she's down to 9. 9 it is, 9 it is. Okay, so we resolved that. Now it's our attack. Nothing else happens. Nope, okay, that's good. So black, uh, whoops, come back. Um, do, 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 do. Druidus and Arcanist, right? Let's have a look. We need at least two damage to bring her down to no modifiers. 88, that's a hit. One hit. 30 and 46. Her defense is 45. Uh, Druidus is minus 10. Oh, come on. Uh, 45. Can we bypass that? Ah, oh, we would have. We would have had it not been for this because that's 36. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Minus 10. So 36 plus 5 is 41. And her might. Where are you? And your might is. Uh, your might is. Four, isn't it? Yeah, because we dropped this sickle, we didn't sell it yet, we still have it, but it didn't have any bonuses to might. So your might is plus four. So 36 plus nine is 45, exactly that. Lovely, <laughs> like this, okay? You have three HP remaining, good. Shall we, uh, this is exhausted. Um, mm -hmm. Can I do anything else? No, not really. Not really. Can't do that. anything else. No. Okay. No. So, next round. Let's have a look what she does. Uh, the hag. 35. Okay. 35 and uh, not this one. D4. D4. And it will be 1. No modifiers, so one damage. That's not bad, but 35 plus 5 for the season of the Jabberwock is 40. 40. I think no one is above 40. Oh, 37, 39 and 38. Bloody hell. <laughs> right, so she deals one damage to everybody. Uh, we will take advantage of this uh, Chain Vest Absorption 1. Um, so she manages to defend that. Arcan is down to eight. <clears throat> uh, down to seven for our buddy here. Um, illusionist. <clears throat> so that was that. Now we attack. Right, we need three hits. Come on. Minus ten. Fifty-five. Uh, 88 and 33 minus 10 this is a miss but this one definitely goes through and that one also manages to hit so she's down to 1 HP right so look oh 11 not in not not good enough <laughs> come on one damage we need one damage and we're and we're fine so we're defending. I should have switched to attack. Anyways, yeah, we have one damage. There you go. 80. This was 88. 40 plus uh, her. Uh, might is 747. So she's, she's uh, yeah, she's defeated. This was 35 as a result of this. So we gain seven coins each. Good, because we're broke. Seven. Seven and seven. Yeah. <clears throat> now we're going to roll on her table. She's a demonic creature, isn't she? With this uh, pentagram as her icon. Is it demonic? I think it is. Yeah. I need to print off some aids. I had them somewhere printed before. Can't, can't find them anymore. So, no, she's an occultist. Okay. Once mortal, they have sold their souls to dark lords and now they're nefarious biddings. 
represented by a five-pointed star. Yeah, okay. So if you're in a cold, you could have given us some occult bonuses. So, there you go, occult. Where are you, occult? Yeah, right there. Okay, D10. But who's, uh, who's searching? Because we have plus one to search rolls on the Druidus. Arcanist can do some nice stuff and also plus one to search. Okay, let's have a look. So we have an eight. Plus one Arcanist, um, Illusionist and Druidus, so it's ten, so we get to choose. And we will spend um, the Arcanist's runic dice to pull two cards and discard one. So we're down to three power points now. So we get to choose. Now, what do we want to uh, loot off you? <clears throat> is it an item again? Or is it some sort of a consumable, which which might come in handy when we fight these uh, nasty, nasty, infested, infected, inf infested, yeah. Or we could do with... I don't know. Consumable. Consumable it is. Okay. Let's hope for something nice. So we take two because I spent the runic dice. And we found an iron ore and silver ingot. Used to strengthen a melee weapon. Plus two damage for two rounds. Nice. Absorption against shapeshifters for one combat or trade a town in for a militia companion. Ooh, of course, we take that. We could do have a militia companion. <laughs> of course, especially when we go and fight the Empuse Coven. Right, thank you very much for your participation, Ratchet Hug. You weren't that bad, after all. Yeah, we uh, managed to acquire some nice uh, <clears throat> loot out of you all right let's put you away okay um so this is resolved is there anything else that happens no it's just a skirmish with a wretched hack right let's hunt some uh infested shall we at least let's see what they're um capable of so we switch we flip today side and we move on and uh, let's move here off-road event with uh, Illusionist as a leader. Off-road event. Let's have a look. The very first one. Now look at that. And we found a campfire. Okay, let's read the fluff. In the past it was common to find a cook fire surrounded with the fellow travelers, travelers willing to share meal and trade stories. In these dark times we saw the fire and feared the worst. We reached the campfire and there was an, an aging soldier tending to his sword. He invited us to sit explaining that in these hard times he had become a mercenary and asked if we would be willing to exchange coin for his sword. Oh, uh, choice one. Pay five coins in an attempt to bribe the soldier to become your companion or refuse and try to convince him to make the honorable choice to come with you anyway. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so if we try to bribe him, I think it will be a, either a speech or trickery. Maybe trickery, shall we? I think that the, um, the refusal will force us to test our speech, which we're not great at, depending on the level, of course. But if we pay five coins, maybe with trickery? Yeah, let's pay five coins. So choice one. Yeah, trickery, I was, I was, I was right. <laughs> there you go. He snatched the coins and began to cackle. Great heroes indeed. You are willing to pay an outlaw like myself? All shall hear of your shame. Oh, come on. The group loses five coins and all characters must pass trickery six. Come on. <laughs> right, so five coins. First of all, we lose five coins. Doesn't matter, so... Now trickery, trickery what? Trickery six. So black, red, and white in this order. Yeah, black, red, and white. Let's have a look and then we'll see what we can do about uh, three. Not good. 
zero so she passed the knight she also passed so the best character best hero in trickery actually failed <laughs> uh can i do anything about that <clears throat> gain plus one trickery so my trickery is two so five and it it asks me for six so i'm one short uh the leader becomes wanted and then i have to pay 10 gold uh, if i remember correctly oh come on can i reroll that <laughs> oh no that's not good is it now um nope i don't think i can do anything about this oh no look at that special ability sleight of hand i knew there was something you are a master of illusion. You may reroll failed trickery checks once per check. Oof, come on, come on. So I need four plus seven. Ha <laughs> ha. So all of us succeeded in passing this. So let's see what happens. Success. We caught the ruffian and vowed to take him in. One character must take him as a mission. Must take him as a mission companion. You may turn him in at any town to get fifteen lore. Okay, mission companion. So, yeah, mission companion. All right, I suppose he can, he can fight with us, can't he? So, is it a soldier, executioner, mercenary? Yeah, is he a mercenary? Uh, what does he say about himself? An outlaw, I don't think we have an outlaw, but we have a mercenary, okay? Mm, it's not guard. Let's have a look. There's so many different companions that you can get. Or or a scavenger. Was it a scavenger? No, it, it actually fits. Look, he the, the, the flap said that he was tending to his sword. So I'll take him as a mission companion. And we can gain 15 gold for him. Let's see what his abilities are. Okay, pay 10 coins. 5 for 2, 3 characters. To place... The mercenary adjacent to you in combat. Vita 10 defense. Oh, he can help me out. Other than that, he doesn't do anything. So I'll just keep him in my inventory. He will be following us. Anything else out of that? Uh, you may turn him in. A town and gain. 15 lore, not coins. Okay, 15 lore. So I'll put that in my backpack. Because otherwise, I'll forget it, it was 15 lore down the line. Okay? <laughs> right. So, ah, and also now, we before we flip the uh, leader token, we're uh, off-road, so we need to roll. And what did I say? Did I say that we were going to roll or... You know what? Let's fight the invest infested. So let's see, before we finish this episode, let's fight the infested. Let me grab a miniature for him. Infested, matey, where are you hiding? I think I see you. Uh, I think I see you here, don't I? Um, there. Uh, infested, yeah, sorry, uh, sorry there. There he is. We have an infested, infested zombie-like creature. I took one. There's three or four of them. Again, nicely painted. Here we go. Infested. Let's fight him. Yeah. Now, what happens here? Oh, plus five to might. Lose d6 Vita and one random character that was hit loses their next turn. So he's got plus ten. Wow, that's a tough fight, isn't it? Let's see what his power is. Of course! <laughs> it's six... So he has plus five might and plus five defense up to 58. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. So before we go any further, I'll spend the smelling salts to heal one uh, wound of the Arcanist. Then she's going to spend uh, the uh, bandages plus four. So she's up to. 13 now, like that. Uh, what about you, buddy? Um, <clears throat> yeah, 
illusion is, spends his uh, uses his bandages up to 12 yeah 12 hp so that's where we are now he attacks he, he his attacks are going to be very very strong does it even matter now we're in this turn we are all attacking we need to bring his power down as quickly as possible we aren't lucky with our roll so we now need to suffer the consequences i suppose <laughs> so this is for the infested he attacks oh good 26 plus five and five that's 36 still not enough we're at 38 39 37 yeah <laughs> okay good so he failed his first attack so all of our heroes can attack his special abilities do not trigger so one as before two and three now we attack so we have no he has plus five defenses so we need to bypass 58 defense Oof, on him come on Uh, 58 49 6 it's a miss 51 Druidus uh, Druidus where are you your <clears throat> your might is 4 so it's 55 not enough 6 not enough 49 Arcanist 7 56 not enough Oh, come on. Oh, 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 no, 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 wait, 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 plus five. Don't forget about this. Plus five. Because uh, 49, 54, and seven, that's 60, 61. So we actually managed to bring his uh, power down to five. He only now has plus five defense, which, yeah which is which is which is okay and then so that was a hit 51 plus 5 and 4 that's 9 that's 60 so yet another hit Whew. okay All right let's go next turn 64 Ooh, plus 10 74 we get hit for one everybody gets hit for one at least the damage is not that huge that's something that we can manage. So everybody is down by one. Okay, we still are going for the attack. I forgot to mention. <clears throat> and one of us will lose and one random character. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Who's not attacking? She's not attacking. Okay, so we get to attack like that. And that's actually quite good because, well... Okay, maybe not that good. No, because she has the highest plus seven to her might. So let's have a look. Come on, we need two hits. Do we have two, two hits? E we have at least one. That's a definite hit. Yeah, even including our buffs. Now, 47, 52. Uh, he doesn't have any defenses. 52 plus 7 is 59. So you get hit once more. Like that. Whew. Okay. Next turn. 10. Not enough. So all of us get to attack. Good. Three attacks. Hopefully we'll bring you down. Um, and like this. Okay. Uh, 49. 89. And 47 so that's a hit minus 5 defense uh, minus 5 defense so you're at 48 48 matey uh, 49 and we're still attacking I forgot to change to defense ne never mind 49 5 and the bonus and you're dead Woo! well done so we have our first we have our very first infested killed we need three more before we can proceed to the alchemist tower to see what happens next. But we get eight coins each, which uh, is perfect because, yeah, we start earning money. Lovely, I like that. 15 and 10. Now we get to roll his what? His, um, 
what's his table? He's undead, of course. Long since dead, these vile creatures have been brought back to some semblance of life, though are usually just the puppets and some darker of some darker force, represented by gnashing vile teeth. Yeah, as you can see. So we got our coins. Now we get to roll uh, six. Uh, plus two, one for the digger that we have, and one for lucky. So eight on the undead. Undead eight. Eight is here. Weapons. Okay, so he had a weapon on him. Okay, give me something expensive. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, again, we're spending one PowerPoint. Uh, down to two. And we draw a very first item. Oh, Falcata Sacred. Mm, not that great. The other one is an enhancement, so we discard that. Let's see. Another weapon. No. Armor. Weapon. Armor. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We keep drawing the armors. Where's the, where's the weapon? There you go. A sledge blackout on 95. Oh, minus one stride in combat. But look at that, six plus two. Ooh. Ooh. We keep that, we discard the Falcata because we have the same weapons. And I'll have to think off camera how we can utilize that sledge. Who can use the sledge? I don't know. But this is a very strong weapon potentially deals 8 damage. Blackout 95. Um, blackout 95. What does that mean? I don't know. I've never seen Blackout before. Have I? can't recall. Let's see. Blackout. Blackout. Target loses their next turn if the attack roll is above. Ah, that's what I thought. So it's like a stone. Okay. 95 plus. Whew. Highly unlikely, but still possible. Um, right, so this was our very first infested. We managed to kill one. We need three more to complete the quest. So that's what it is. We have one uh, a component of our of our um, quest done. Okay, let's slide him over there. Now the next turn, I suppose. Do we have any gold? What is it? Shall we risk yet another fight and then go to Wailing Point? To heal ourselves and maybe uh, sell some stuff, maybe uh, get rid of this mercenary that we have. We'll see about that. We'll think about our options. We don't have too much healing on us, unfortunately, but we'll see what the options are once we um, think it through. Right, so that's it. Um, that's it for the next episode of Folklore the Affliction, the three play. I'm really enjoying this. I i don't think I've ever played a free play before. It might be very swingy because of the roguelike experience, but that's exactly what I love about this game. You can, you can just do whatever you want. Explore, take on quests, take part in the events, and everything changes. There's so many cards in all these decks. Uh, fantastic stuff. I highly, highly recommend that if you have the game with the expansions that allow you to do that because it's just absolutely fantastic. Yeah? I hope you guys enjoy it as much as, as I am enjoying it while um, trying to cover all these bits and pieces. I'm sure I've made some omissions and mistakes on the way because uh, folklore is quite demanding. Um, the more characters you have, the more admin you've got, but this is so you know, entertaining trying to pull your um, heroes through this nasty and uh, grim world of folklore right thanks a lot for watching please let me know what you think in the comment section below uh, maybe you spotted some mistakes or something some things that i missed please let me know as always i i enjoy reading your comments and improving on my gameplay um, for the future right i'll see you in the next one bye